السلام علیکم ویورز ویلکم ٹو لائیو ود حسن اختر ویورز آر ٹوڈے لیسن از فرام کلاس نائنتھ یونٹ نمبر ون میٹرسز اینڈ ڈٹرمیننٹس وی ول سالو ٹوڈے دا ایکسرسائز ون پوائنٹ سکس ویورز یو ہیو آلریڈی ڈیفائنڈ واٹ از اے میٹرکس دین یو کیم ٹو نو اباؤٹ اٹس آڈر واٹ از اے ڈٹرمیننٹ دیز آر دا تھنگ وی ول یوز in our today's lesson our today's first question of exercise 1.6 is use matrices if possible to solve the following systems of linear equations by kramer's rule viewers as you see here the word is used if possible so today we will come to know when solution will be possible and when solution will be impossible and we are asked to use matrices we were here in this method we are given two linear equations and we will use matrix method to solve the linear equations our part number 1 values are 2x minus 2y is equal to 4 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. These are the two linear equations given to us. Viewers, this order is called vertical order or R. The first equation is 2x minus 2y is equal to 4, whereas the second equation is 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. Viewers, question may come in this pattern. inside your exam and if it is coming in this manner you better convert it into the vertical form like this then your working pattern will become very easy we start our solution we write the given equations in vertical form first one is 2x minus 2y is equal to 4 that of second one is 3x plus 2y is equal to 6 we have to start our next step as looking at this rough working column i wrote the two given equations in vertical order once again we were to look at the coefficient of x in the first it is number 2 uh, coefficient of x in the second one it is number 3 we was this 2 3 in same frame will give you the first column of our matrix a you can see over here then very simple look at the coefficient of y in equation number 1 it is minus 2 and coefficient of y in equation number 2 is plus 2 so same this minus 2 plus 2 will stand for your second column as it is given here that's why in the start i told that write the given equations in this vertical order if they are not given means if they are given in horizontal order you can convert it into vertical order first of all we calculate a determinant as i already told you discussed the order of determinant in the beginning of this chapter so we calculate determinant here is a symbol a determinant is equal to determinant of this this is a matrix and here it is determinant we apply the order of determinant it is that first place element multiplied with the last place element like 2 multiplied by 2 then in between you are must to put the sign minus then the next second place element to be multiplied with third place element so we write minus 2 into 3 making the simplification 2 into 2 gives us 4 minus into minus 2 plus 2 into 3 gives us plus 6 so the result comes here 10 that is the value of a determinant it is 10 now we calculate ax viewers very interesting what is ax as you can see 4 6 here this is the constants given in equation number 1 and equation number 2 you need to replace the first column entries these 2 and 3 with the right hand side this column 4 6 to get ax in other words if you can focus over here you used 2 3 as the coefficient of x so in calculation of ax you are replacing the coefficients of x with the constants given on the right hand side so our ax matrix becomes 4 minus 2 6 2 in row order 
we calculate its determinant ax determinant becomes determinant of 4 minus 2 6 2 the method is same first place element multiply with fourth place element 4 into 2 in between sign minus then second place element multiply with third place element the simplification gives us as 8 plus 12 which is equal to 20 now you can see here we have calculated a y viewers likewise the previous now you need to replace these two questions that is now you need to replace column number two with these constants already given towards the right hand side so a y becomes a matrix of order 2 by 2 with entries 2 4 3 6 row wise next we calculate its determinant a y whole determinant is equal to determinant of 2 4 3 6 again applying the same order 2 multiplied by 6 we get 12 minus 3 multiplied by 4 again we get 12 so 12 minus 12 gives us 0 next we move towards the formula that is utilized in Kramer's rule it says now x is equal to a x determinant over a determinant viewers we calculated the answer of a x determinant as 20 whereas the a determinant we already calculated this is number 10 so using these two values over here we have 20 over 10 that gives us number 2 as the value of x likewise the rule for calculation of y is y is equal to determinant of a y over determinant of a as you seen here value of determinant a y it is 0 value of a determinant it is 10 0 over 10 will give you 0 hence x is equal to 2 y is equal to 0 this is the required answer moving to the next part number 2 values are 2x plus y is equal to 3 6x plus 5y is equal to 1 already told you that if the question comes in exam in horizontal frame you are better to convert it into this vertical frame working will become very easy hope you all understand we now start its solution whether already given in vertical frame or not we converted the given equations into the vertical frame Question number 1 is 2x plus y is equal to 3. Question number 2 is 6x plus 5y is equal to 1. In addition, I wrote the same on the rough working column. If you can understand over here, I can explain here, no problem. In equation number 1, coefficient of x, it is 2. Whereas in equation number 2, coefficient of x is 6. So the first column of matrix looks like 2, 6. You can see here the entries of the first column, 2, 6. Likewise, the coefficient of y in equation number 1, it is plus 1. That of y in equation number 2, it is 5. So, the entries of column number 2 are 1, 5. You can see here 1, 5. Hope this is clear and interesting as well as easier for you. We now calculate its determinant. Determinant of A is equal to determinant of this given matrix that is 2, 1, 6, 5. So far you are clear about method of calculation. 2 multiply by 5 minus 1 multiply by 6 gives us 10 minus 6 which is equal to 4. This is the value of A determinant we calculated likewise the previous. Now we will calculate AX and then we will calculate determinant of AX. First AX viewers now you are well clear it is easy what to do. You have to look at the constants given towards the right hand side replace them by these two. That is you need to replace first column by this column that is your a x matrix will be 3 1 because 3 is here on the right hand side of equation 1 1 is here on the right hand side of equation 2 whereas the second column entries 1 5 they remain same now we calculate its determinant determinant a x is equal to determinant of 3 1 1 5 Applying order of determinant 3 into 5 minus 1 into 1 gives us 15 minus 1 which is equal to 14. We now calculate a y determinant. Now what we will do? We will replace this column number 2 by 3 1 
entries that is our second column will become here 3 1 whereas the first column will remain same you can see here a y is a matrix having entries 2 6 first column same second is replaced and new values are 3 1 we calculate its determinant determinant a y is equal to determinant of 2 3 6 1 applying order of determinant 2 into 1 minus 3 into 6 simplification gives us minus 16 now using the formula x is equal to a x determinant over a determinant putting the values we get 14 over 2 cancellation gives us as 7 over 2 likewise a rule for y is equal to a y determinant over a determinant putting the values minus 16 over 4 gives us minus 4 hence x is equal to 7 over 2 y is equal to minus 4 is my answer hope you all understanding and enjoying this easier method we move to the next part part number 5 values are 3x minus 2y is equal to 4 second equation is minus 6x plus 4y is equal to 7 we start our solution using either the rough column or using the same frame of given equations our first column now viewers we are clear about the method so our first column very clear from here is that 3 minus 6 you can see here the first column entry is 3 minus 6 the second column is minus 2 4 you can easily see here the second column of matrix a it is minus 2 4 after writing matrix a we first of all calculates its determinant a determinant gives us as determinant of this matrix applying the order of determinant 3 into 4 minus minus 2 into minus 6 the result gives 12 minus 12 is equal to 0 viewers interesting see here the value of a determinant becomes 0 over here so what will happen next as by Kramer's rule we have x is equal to determinant of ax over determinant of a and y is equal to ay over determinant of a here determinant of a is equal to 0 so we will be having this situation that any number divided by 0 this is undefined that's why inside your statement it was written if possible so students to solve the equations by using matrix method your value of determinant must be non-zero here a determinant is equal to zero hence solution is impossible in this case hope you all understand thank you very much